Now to Southwest Denver, where a man's body was found in an elevator. He's been identified. The 82-year-old vanished July 5th near East Yale Avenue and South Elmira Street. That is just south of the Woodstream Village Apartments tonight, where his body was found. Our Dylan Thomas live in Denver tonight for us near Harvard and Parker Road. Dylan, they're still trying to figure out just how he got in there. Still to be determined, but as for now, this complex, which is very large, is looking into how he ended up in that elevator shaft, which is next to this parking garage. We're told the parking garage was under some renovations, and shortly after, they found his body nearby. Denver homicide detectives are investigating the death of Isaac Komisarchik, the 82-year-old man who vanished July 4th. As Denver fire dive teams searched nearby ponds for the man, Nearby residents saw missing person posters. I noticed them kind of over here in my apartment complexes, by the mailboxes. As teams searched, residents say for nearly a month, a bad smell got worse near a parking garage elevator. This specific issue with this specific scent coming from that specific stairwell and elevator area has been mentioned on multiple occasions. It's just a distinct smell. People know it right away. It wasn't until July 31st that Denver police found Commissar Chick. A very small, weird elevator that's always making a weird buzzing sound. He was dead in an inoperable elevator. Oh my God. I mean, now that we realize what it was, it does smell like what it was, like a, a carcass, like, you know, decomposing. It isn't clear how Commissar Chick ended up in the elevator. Police are working to determine that and also the manner of death. Until then, neighbors say they're just sad to find out the man was nearby the whole time with nobody to help. It's kind of tragic in a way to just think someone was just laying there, no peace or anything. We reached out to the Woodstream Village Apartments hoping to find out how this individual would have got inside that elevator. However, they said they are still waiting to release a comment from their corporate headquarters. We're live in Denver. Dylan Thomas, CBS4 News. Dylan, thank you.